Hello there, boys and girls. Today we're going to be doing the Season of Mayhem Mog Boss. As you can see, I've already killed it once. Like, I got a little overzealous with my damage there, um, and I killed it, and I didn't get credit with the kill with magic. So we're going to go back and do that, because we really need that um, that defense 20% materia. It's mission critical. I'm going to be taking CG Nicole. He's going to be here for stop resist and CG Nicole buffs. Uh, Sieghard is going to be on my cover tank. He's geared with 100% innate draw attacks. Other than that, just a lot of defense and spirit. Kryla is going to be our main breaker. Uh, I hope you guys, if you pulled Kryla, I hope you got her. She's really cool. Um, Dragon Lord is going to be our finisher. He's got Man Eater on. Uh, Mahio is just fire chaining with Plant Killer on. And the friend Hio is also fire chaining. I think he's just on E for it. Yeah, he's just on E for it. So you got two two different ways you can go about doing this. Like you can do it this way, where we're going to drop the boss real quick to his uh, hit point lock at thirty percent, or you can go non-elemental, take the boss down to his hit point lock, then just do some fire damage to it a few times, and when the boss is killable, then just chain and kill it off. <clears throat> I think Senzar went the non-elemental route. So the preemptive is an attack and, and magic damage reduction shield. Get our chainers ready. DJ Nicole is going to open up with stop resist. Big Heart is going to physical cover. And Crowley is going to use her cooldown break. And we're just going to chain the boss. There we go. Like I said, he hit point locks right here. And he's not killable at this point. Alrighty, CG Nicole is going to throw out his Soulful Stance and do some MP recovery for our heos. And we'll have Sigheart defend. And I guess Krylo will use her other cooldown ability. We'll refresh our stop resist. We'll refresh our cover. Uh, we'll have Crowley use Witchcraft Plus, do the attack and magic break, and we'll do a fire and ice in peril. Put some more fire damage into the boss. I'd say if you got beefy enough units, you could probably kill it through that damage reduction. Uh, we'll have CG Nicole just refresh his buffs. Put an MP recovery. Have Sieghart and Krala defend. Put fire on the boss one more time. <clears throat> Another cue you can look for in the flavor text up top on the boss's turn, the boss will say like, oh no. Whenever it says that, it's ready to be killed. Right there. Alrighty, I'm going to dual cast Alterna because it's non-elemental damage. The boss is a, it's like 200% resistant to all elements except fire right here. So the only way to get credit is to do like non-elemental damage or fire damage. I find it's pretty hard to sneak like fire damage in on the uh, on the boss right there. So Alterna is much much easier to land, I guess. And there's all our turn of hits. Yeah, 
Yay, we got all the missions that time. Um, that's really good. Good deal. Um, but yeah, like I said, you got two different ways you can go about it. You can go the non elemental route, take the boss down to 30, fire damage four times, then kill the boss. Or you can do it like I did. You can just do fire damage right off the bat, drop the boss real low. You know, either way, you're going to hit that uh, that hit point threshold lock and you're just going to have to, to wait it out until the boss is actually killable. Just remember, whenever um, whenever the boss goes into phase two right there, he has 200% to all resist. So for you're trying to get the kill with magic, keep that in mind. Um, I hope anybody pulling for the King, uh, what is that, Kingdom Hearts collab that's coming out today. I hope if you guys are pulling for that, I hope you get the units you want. Um, until next time, toodaloo.